Please agree with me in prayer regarding evangelizing. Evangelization. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you deliver us from the way that Protestants evangelize. God, we pray that the Lord, our Creator, will provide for us. The apostles did miracles so that people wouldn't just believe them because they're saying something. They're just words, just air, they're speaking. But they would do a miracle. They could heal. It causes things to happen. Magical, almost. Great things. They prophesied. The things they do to evangelize now is like the world's media, celebrities, rock musicians, or just trying to deceive people. I think they're very wise. We just ask God, because even the Catholic Church is not evangelizing appropriately. Father, I want to pray for everyone who is the church. We ask that no matter what, we know that the church was established by your apostles, by Jesus Christ himself, ultimately, by our Savior, by the Messiah, by the living word of God. In our own faith, we pray, we will not have to rely on our own understanding to, to evangelize that way. But that you will do your miracles, and you yourself will call those forth into the light, out of the darkness. You'll help us to be a light. And to be as intelligent as you want us to be. And it says that the fools will witness to the wise and the weak to the strong. And the poor to the rich. And we pray for that in our law ministries. For us to not be those who sell the truth. But that we will buy the truth. And only seek you. As you will, Father. On earth as it is in heaven, we pray, God. For us, as a ministry, as a church, as the body of Christ. To be innocent before you about our what we've done with our time, our talents, as a church. We pray, Father, that you help us to be, to work together. By faith, not by our own understanding as our nations are divided, to, to assist one another, to work and function as the body of Christ, not quarrel about being this race or that race or this nationality, try to do like the Pope, try to make us all live a different way than, than God even himself wanted it to exist. We're no one because we're not Italian or this or that. Or whatever it is, God, in Jesus' name. And God, I just pray for your glory. The glory of all your church. To put away all these people. And Father, I pray for my ministry's plans that you will provide. so that we will evangelize carefully and not try to create great numbers, worry about it. And I, was, I plan for the box office. 
in a new, to, to, to just gradually get people to live to a according to your statutes, get them away from false teachers. Get them away from all the things. So we have anoint, can anoint new new ministers, God, and in a way that's really your will, Father. Not giving them any honor they don't deserve until they learn to, Christ's teachings really in the Spirit and proven they're they're faithful. Loyal and innocent men and women. I pray, Father, that as we evangelize, we will do that according to whatever wisdom is Christ's wisdom, not the world's institutions or street preachers or whatever it is. However you call people to your kingdom, God, that it will be for the glory of God, to the furtherance of the gospel and preparation of the end. I pray for your, you to help us to mass convert as you call them, not us trying to be like the world's evangels charismatics that all of your grace bestowed upon your church in these times as it always has been God deliver us from the evil that they try to set up these witches these secret societies homosexuals all these scandals whatever they do for your glory, in the name of your Holy Son, Yeshua, we pray. God, Amen.